everybody welcome you i have not been here <laughs> in a while so much has been happening and so in this video we'll do a sit down get ready with me and i tell you what i've been up to this couple of months where i've been my name is orlunda by the way if you're just coming here for the very first time all the products i'm going to use i'm going to put in the comment section or the description box the life has really been lifing if that is a word <laughs> life has been happening i think the harsh truth of life is that life just continues it doesn't stop for anybody whether you're present whether you're not life is happening doesn't matter what it doesn't wait for nobody to catch up like it just continues ticking on the time goes the hours goes the day go by so fast oh last year was a lot 2021 was a lot mentally physically spiritually emotionally it was a lot those have been on my channel you know what it was like i think for the last half of the year or the most of my content last year was centered about how hard life was and grief and all of that and for the life of us we just didn't seem to like be getting it together or maybe towards the end of the year it looked like we were getting some level of getting it together emotionally and then towards the end of the year i ended up moving out of my place pick up my child life that was there left my job everything quit the whole damn thing out of and took we moved to a different town and then officially moved out of the country it's been like one of those it's been not one of those it's been very overwhelming because leaving the comfort of what you know for the longest time is not easy it is literally one of the hard parts it's like you've made family you've made friends and it's literally become part of what you've known for such a long time and for me it's been over a decade of cultivating relationships workspaces all of that and it's been overwhelming trying to restart and live in a new country and relearning neighborhoods and where everything is and adjusting and all hell is not easy when you're doing it in these times of COVID. but you trust the nudging of the holy spirit and you go where you you feel you've been called now i haven't filmed really religiously the move here because I was just trying to adjust to this new life and making sure my cab is adjusting and all of that good stuff guys and sorting out the logistics of living in a foreign country to make sure that you are there legally you have a place to stay and all of that stuff like we know right so plus I have a cab you cannot have problems when there's a small child in the mixed of you moving and we know that things can go wrong very quickly if you don't have your ducks in a row and unpacking and all of that and just enjoying my new normal you know what it entails and for the first time in the years of my cubs life we spending time together 24 7 i was enjoying that part of motherhood of being just at home with my cub trying to adjust with everything he's fine because he's with mama so thank you lord for that i understand why people why some mothers feel like they really want to stay home now apart from it being very cheap but it is the beautiful moments of if that stage of your cub's life where you're you literally are like oh, i'm so glad i'm part of this because every day is a surprise every day they surprise you with something new how quickly their vocabulary you know like increases the words that they know how they phrase their words it's just it's amazing and the way they love on you 
constantly it's my favorite thing the way mine loves on mine it on me is my favorite thing and it's amazing you become a mom and you're like they're only that small for a period and they grow like weed so so quickly before your eyes even though you're there sometimes it seems like you're still missing a few things because you're like why are you growing so quickly i also want to hear but anyway any minute it's like they are running around they are forming their own opinion they want what they want and you're just there like ah oh, my baby <laughs> yeah and then when we got here like maybe a week or so being in here my camera broke broke no I was so sad because I had this whole plan when we got here. Oh, I'm gonna record all the moments. I might not have posted them, I might not post them, but I'm going to record all the moments and I'm going to show what it's like to move and move into a new place and setting up and unpacking and tasting things and all of that good stuff. But it didn't happen like that my camera broke it was very sad it was very very sad um yeah it was sad that my camera broke i was like literally so heartbroken about the fact that my camera broke i just i, mm. I was just like i don't know what to do anymore <laughs> because i really want my camera but it's broken And I'm so bad at like recording with my phone because my phone is cool. I can really see how cool it is to record with the phone. I think sometimes, but then it's like the transferring of date of 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 the video from like my phone to the editing software to the like that is the thing that I don't like because I feel like the quality is no longer the same. And it makes the whole thing like a whole complete mess and then i don't like it because then i look at it and it's a little bit grainy i just i don't like it i don't i really don't like it and then that makes me sad because now i filmed probably like a whole fun day and i've lost footage and now i'm upset i'm disappointed because i've made this effort and i couldn't so we spend a few weeks months saving trying to get a new camera that i'm very happy that i finally got we spent time looking for sales what was the best camera doing my research you know all of that stuff i'm not a big youtuber neither do i have a big budget for the camera so it was only i was on a mission to look for like the cheapest camera i could get that will give me the good quality that could replace my little j7x and that i would just I, I could film then content with that took a whole moment in the midst of all of that stuff i also needed to get like a whole new software app like a whole new editing app because i used to use a mac that wasn't mine um to edit so i used imovie coming here I no longer had that so i had to look for a editing app that i would like i would love and i also had to learn how to use an editing app on like a windows laptop because i have a windows laptop and some of the like me itsy bitsy details are a little bit different compared to using imovie and imovies are so simple it was just it just worked imovie was like so simple made it easy for me to put content on upload edit very quickly and get my content out there but this was different you know i'm not like a graphic designer or whatever person and i don't think i'm really all that tech savvy and stuff but i can learn things so then i spent another few weeks trying to figure out which editing app to use if i'm going to use one is there a free one would it be as cool as like iMovie or even better is it user like beginner friendly am i i'm not going to lose my bar my marbles trying to figure out what the heck i'm doing all of that good stuff and then 
when I finally figured that out, I had to learn how to use the thing. And that was another few sessions of YouTube University of Life <laughs> or the University of YouTube. So I finally learned, finally figured out how to do it. It's going to take me probably longer to edit a video. Um, for the, the first few videos will take me a couple of days to edit because I learned, but I didn't learn by editing a video. I just was just, you know, learning, like listening and then, oh, okay, can do that like that. I should have technically filmed the video and edited while I'm learning, but I'm using one laptop. It wasn't easy for me to like go from like learning here and editing here. It would have been nice if I had like two, then it's like one is just for editing and then the other one, I mean, the other one is teaching and then I can edit while I'm learning on the side. You know what I mean? And we don't have those privileges so we had to i had to like just be patient and wait and so in that time i was just enjoying being my mom being a mom i literally was enjoying being present spending time with the lord concentrating on those important aspects of my life while i'm here while i'm like figuring stuff out and then i finally got a camera yay and we can create content now and uh, trying to figure out a setup that would work for beauty videos and all of that oh and for those probably wondering how is it like living here it's fun it's really cool it's a good experience to have for anybody um, to live in a foreign country I think everybody should get a chance to do it if you can and i've been here before so it's not like my very first time in cape town as such so it's not that new like i've never never been here before i've been here before a couple of times and i've always liked being here it's very close to like weather wise wallfish bay weather this look is coming together very nice today I hope I still remember how to do my makeup properly. Sometimes you just like, do I even know how to do my makeup nicely? Because the wearing of the mask is also true. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's when I leave Bentuk and then there's that whole no mask situation. <sighs> yeah, so that's what I've been up to. And finally, we can create content. And I think I mentioned this already. I will still give you guys a few like vlogs here and there, but I think for this, for the the remainder of this year, I'm gonna go back to like beauty videos and maybe give you guys a vlog like every other week or once a month maybe, like a monthly vlog. But I really wanna go back to like creating beauty content and here and there i'll update you guys about how i'm doing with regarding my grief and stuff like that but i feel like last year it took over because it was such a big part of my life last year it took over so much of the channel that i just i don't want us to be in that vibe anymore because we are on a journey of healing and i want to keep with that in um all honesty or it is technical already or honesty we are doing better than we were last year in terms of where we are with our grief every day is like back and forth some days you have good days some days not so but the good so far have outweighed the bad days even in the midst of this move once i figured this whole editing situation out I will have videos out for you on a consistent basis and I'm gonna try and get back to like social media guys it was I literally I'm living life so much near that I wasn't I wasn't even present on social media like you'll probably see my stories that I haven't uploaded a post or none I can't figure out how I want this week to like sit really like, do i want it like this do i want to 
ponytail situation. I don't know. I just don't know what I wanted to do. So I decided to zhuzh up this entire outfit for you and also like put on a top. And yeah, um, this is basically final. We are done. I pulled up the hair a little bit and excited to give you guys a very ponytail type of look. Um, this is basically the get ready with me. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for constantly WhatsApping me and finding out WhatsApping DMs and finding out whether I'm good. I am okay. I'm 100% good. Just adjusting to new life and what this new lifestyle is, all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, more content coming. Like I said, a new camera and all of that is finally here. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Anyway. And I hope you enjoyed this beauty video. I hope I still remember how to do makeup. I literally hope that it looks good on there. I'll see you guys in my next video. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. And let's get some Kryptonian fun in here. But yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. 